Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Let's Play Until Dawn. Oh, it's my favorite character thus far, the psychiatrist, the counselor. Uh, look at that. I love the facial animation. That's really impressive, isn't it? Um, I, don't, I still don't know a great deal about this game, to be perfectly honest, but thus far, I'm very much enjoying it. Very much enjoying it. Let's see what, what's going on, shall we? Because I have no idea at this point. Where did we leave off? Ah, yes, we were with Jessica. Upper cable car station, 9.41. Ooh, I think I'll... Well, I'll go with my own instinct and I'll read a book. It's got a sort of interactive movie or... What the hell is she reading, by the you way? You not just do that. Put your hands where I can see her. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab Snowball. Fuck you, Mike. Yeah, go on. Pelt the bastard. Well, I don't know. When you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun! Oh, I get to, I get to pelt him. Whoa. That's great! That's fun! I like that! <laughs> up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh. Got you, Mike. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> oh, that's very beautiful. What's going on? Hello. I take it this is basically uh. practice for something more serious that will happen Mike. later, right? Boom. Got ya. Yeah, you. Got me. Okay. <laughs> I got you quite a lot, Mike. What's with the bird? You can't hide from me, Mike. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to throw at the bird. That's wrong. Why would I do that? Yeah, fuck you, Mike. Oh. And then what? Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> it's so 1990s horror. It's like, this is, it's Wes Craven. It's Scream, right? You're worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Um, grab fucking snowball, ah. Mike. Ha 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 ha! Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Interesting. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. <laughs> I mean, thus far it's building Mike up to be the bad guy, right? To be the antagonist, as though he's gathering them all together again to get revenge for effectively killing his sisters, right? That seems to be what's going on, but it's very blatant if that is the case. Oh, hello again, with your leather chair, which I like very much. Hello again. And your Goldberg variations. And how are we feeling? Freaked out. I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. I'm sure we did. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. Oh, yeah? This time... Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, no! My internet cocked out, and as a result, it kicked me out of the game. Fuck! That's fine. I hate it when it does that. I understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set make 
makes you the most anxious. Oh, okay, that's fun. I'll I'll do that. Um, men worry me and women worry me. Well, both of them worry me, really. Um, uh, well, considering my proclivities, I will go for men worry me. Oh, that's how we turn the page. That's fun. Crowds scare me. Crowds, definitely. Why is he wearing gloves? He or she? Because we don't know who this is, of course. Um, I don't particularly fear either of them, but I fear drowning more than heights, I suppose. Oh, rats don't scare me, and snakes don't scare me, actually, but I will go... Snakes are definitely more dangerous, so I'll go with snakes. Although I actually really love snakes. I think they're beautiful creatures. Oh, knives, guns. Well, yeah, guns are scary. They're designed to be. Oh, snakes. I fear cockroaches. Well, cockroaches, uh, you know, they're unpleasant, but they're not dangerous, per se. Oh, you're so like Hannibal Lecter, aren't you? There's something. Oh, hello. I fear scare. Okay, this is going to determine what's in the game, isn't it? So, clowns. That most people are going to say clowns, aren't they? Because clowns are naturally scary. So I'm going to say scarecrows. Oh, gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Um, gore doesn't disgust me, and I really like crows, actually. Crows are beautiful creatures, but I'll go for... He didn't ask for what disgusts you. That's a weird entry, isn't it? Um, I'll go for this one anyway. Does that mean it's going to be gory? Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. <laughs> well. Am I? Don't be nervous. Oh, I'm very nervous of you. There's something about you I really Try don't to. like. I can tell you. Speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Um, right, let's turn the page. Spiders. 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 I am arachnophobic. In fact, I'm really scared of spiders. Uh, yeah, I don't like needles either, actually. So, yeah, that's fine. Got one of them coming up, actually. Ooh, zombies. No, I don't fear zombies. Zombies are silly. I like zombies as horror monsters, but they don't really scare me. I fear dogs. No, not at all. I don't fear dogs. I really like dogs, actually. Storms do not scare me. Needles are coming up a lot. What is going on? This is actually really it's scary. It's really weird. Thank you. Oh, you are creepy. Spiders, what is going on? Scarecrows and needles. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Sounds like a good Friday night. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I'll bet. I'll bet. Who is he? Or what is he? This has the feeling of not being real to me. Hey! We, I mean, does that mean it's like the next chapter or something? Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Uh. Oh yeah. Ouch. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you. You see? Just share some moments that we'll never forget. Oh, there's Hayden. For the sake of my sisters. You see, it's setting Mike up, isn't it? It's so blatantly setting Mike up. So he is probably going to be completely innocent, right? That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. 
Oh, I don't trust any Man, of this. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Okay. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. <laughs> you got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. <laughs> you I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Oh, dear. Already tension. Uh-oh. Oh, POV. Oh, dear. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Oh, gossip. Worry. Worry. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that... No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Oh, okay. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? <laughs> Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. <laughs> if I don't report you. Um. <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Yeah. Okay. It's doing that classical sort of ensemble horror film thing of throwing lots of red herrings at you. Unsettled. Yeah, I'm going for unsettled, actually. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Status update. Ooh, okay. So what can I do? Oh, I don't like it. It's scary. Let's go have a look. Something off? I don't know. Actually, it's looking pretty hot today, right? <laughs> ah, hello. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Cut it out, man, yeah. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to bang her. Maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Yeah. I don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's like weird? And what if she, she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? Well, I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow a pair. <sighs> hmm. Lots of tensions. Lots and so lots of tensions. Into my parents' lodge, bud. Not sure yet, man. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. No. Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, will you change the record, I man? Like cool buns. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, is that an open window? No, it's not. God damn it. It's got to be so... Ah, ha, ha. There's an axe. Well, there was an axe. Clue found. Axe holder. Oh, dear. That's not good. Where's it gone? <laughs> Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I should have turned off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. All right, come on. Now, let's have a look. <laughs> the animations are excellent. I mean, the character models are fantastic. They're, they're, they're basically filmic, you know? I'm okay. Yeah, nice one, man. Should have paid 
paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shit. Did I do that? No. no I don't think so. Here, use this. Thanks, man. Oh, great. That's useful. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Okay. Okay. This is not good. And the soundtrack is telling us that it's not good. Oh, there's something over there. What have we got? Let's see. <gasps> oh no. So this is going to presage our... Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, that was bad. Meh. Nah. I'm gonna get fucking jump scared, aren't I? I'm not gonna drink any tea while I'm playing this game, because I'm gonna get jump scared. I know I am. It's the door there. Snowboards, those are cool. Okay, there's a room here. Let's have a look what's what's going on in here. Uh oh. Oh hello. What's this? Let's have a look. Clue found newspaper fragment. Ex-janitor convicted for arson by Charles Z. Jones, chief reporter. Swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Uh, Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson, committed on Blackwood Pines. Uh, Milgram is employed as a janitor at the mountains, blah, 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 for 28 years. However, when blah, 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 blah. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a fucking whore. He vowed to get all of you your fucking husband and kids and said that he would make them suffer. Shit. But why do I get the impression that's not right either? That feels like a red herring too. I don't know, it just feels like something weird is going on here. It said he was a movie mogul, right? What if all of this, all, all of these scenarios are films or something? Oh, fuck. Huh? That's cool. Yeah. Clue found. Why is that a clue? That's a little strange, isn't it? It's creepy. And that sound is very creepy. Oh, stop it! What the hell was that? Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, I saw. Oh, there's a nice bovine skull on the wall. Let's go and have a look! Let's do the clever horror film thing. That's gorgeous. Oh, there's, the soundscape is amazing. There's like little twitches and whispers and what the blue fuck is going on there? Oh, it's it's an effect on the window. Oh god, that looked really weird then for a minute. Okay, okay. The soundscape is fabulous. It's really well done. No? No. Sorry guys. Hi, Chris. 
looks very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Okay, I need to go and find the deodorant, apparently. Or something else. Oh, let's... Oh, God. Oh, stop! That was off to the right, whatever the hell that was. Hello, what's that? Yeah. No, so all the power is out. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Like, at all. Oh. The fixed camera angles um, have a very Resi Evil vibe, and it's very cool, I've got to say. I like this little living room space. That's cool. I really like that. Oh, there's definitely someone in here. I mean, you can hear them. You can. There's there's horrible sounds coming from everywhere. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, uh, hello. Okay. Clue found. Prom night photo. Fourth. Uh, twenty fifth of the fourth, two thousand thirteen. Ready for senior prom. Uh, Sam, Mikey, and Emily. Okay. Why is that a clue? Oh, that's creepy. Actually, those paintings are fucking creepy. Look at them. <laughs> Not nice, right? I'm just waiting for the inevitable jump scare. There's gonna be one eventually. I don't know when, but there's one coming. Anything? Light the fucking candle! Dick. Don't know why I'm swearing so much in this video, but hey, there we are. Deal with it, YouTube. Oh god, no, I'm not going down there. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs instead, because that's always the safe thing to do in a horror film. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to see what's on. Hmm. There's that bovine skull again. Does that signify something? Oh, it's locked. God damn it. I'm going to go upstairs because it sounds like there's somebody up there. Anything? I like how blithe he is. Just sort of like. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. I'm not in the horror story at all. Okay. Now, if this were a Resident Evil game, there'd be a book. There'd be a book or something on the shelves to interact with. Anything? There's another candle you could light. Another weird, weird painting. Ooh. Ooh. Is there another door? Is another door? God, this house is huge. There's a lot in here. Okay, let's uh, let's try the door, shall we? Oh, tits! <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm getting quite tense now. I don't mind telling you. Hello. Oh fuck. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Anything? Anything at all? No? Oh, okay. Okay! Oh, that door's open. Don't like that. The masks seem significant, don't they? What is that freaking noise? The music is very much telling me that something awful is imminent. What? 
Oh, fine. Oh, God. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. What a great bathroom. That's beautiful, isn't it? All right. Ha! Ah, inferno for men. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, yes. Yeah, inevitable. It's the old sort of cat in the cupboard jump scare. It's almost a mainstay of, like, 1990s horror. Freezing our buns off out here. Yeah, all right. That 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 that's a little bit like arson, man. I mean, it's a wooden door. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. come thank you. on. I'll be here all week. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What hmm. was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Aww, it wasn't a bear or a tiger. I do have a cup of tea, by the way. I didn't want to drink it while the jump scares were imminent. Wipe your feet. Home sweet home. That is sweet beautiful. Is not the word I use. Really? It's gorgeous. What's wrong with you? Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh. Make oh dear. Up. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Butterfly effect. Okay. Um. War. A challenge. Okay. What the hell were you doing with him out on the trail? What? I saw you and M at the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Apologize, yeah, because that is paranoid right. as hell. And possessive. Yeah. And uh, really fucking sorry, weird. I I have no connection to people who think like that about relationships, who get jealous of whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I find that bizarre. You know? It's so strange and destructive. I like his flannel shirt. I would oh wear that. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Diffuse, yeah, definitely. Come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Diffuse, yeah. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. 
So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Oh, uh -huh. are we gonna have to trek That's back him. down? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Classic 1990s horror misogynist stereotypes. Check. Okay. Check. Uh, thus far, Hayden is the only likable female character in the entire thing. Um. <laughs> for me. Ugh, How far is this cabin? Mike, anyway? man, this push her over. He's the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes on. Really, Mike? I mean, all of that just then was like, where, where? A warning, red light, red light. Hey, porn stars, you're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. Sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Okay. So who's gonna be, you know, which group is gonna be the first to get it? Invite them up with us? Wait, Here we go. What? 1043. Oh. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going back inside. Seriously, Mike. I mean, you need to reconsider your relationships. Because that there, that there is a dumpster fire. That there is a nest of rattlesnakes waiting to bite you. Actually, now that I think about it, you're not much of a catch either, so go for it. This was seriously a thing in 1990s horror, which this whole game seems to be a reference to. Like, making characters very, very unlikable. For reasons. I don't want to talk to her that. No. Is there going to be something in the picture? Or is he going to see something in the camera? I think that's it. I think that's it, you know. We're going to see something. Oh my god. Yeah. This is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. No, you're really you not. You keep that camera handy and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. You ain't getting to the cabin. You ain't. There's... There's... No. You're done. You already have the feeling of sacrificial characters. That's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? I got a few things in mind. Anything? What is this? Oh, this is getting creepy. Yeah, that's right. Let her go ahead, then she'll get killed first. Oh, hello. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and find oh, herself here and dear. eaten by a bear. Change the record. Uh, Fuck you. Yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. Defend. No, I mean, of course not. I'm just saying it's... Like, it's not worth kicking her when she's down. Because I'd much rather spend my time getting down with you. 
you see, you see what I, I did there? I did that for you. Yeah, okay. But she better stay down is all I'm saying. I suppose what we're saying is stop being such a misogynist stereotype in a horror film. What's that? Oh. Oh. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Oh. Did Josh say there was a generator? He did. Classic horror video game stuff now. Generators. Yes, we know all about them, don't we? Hello. Hang on, hang on. Fire up the Jenny and get moving. Oh dear. Let's have a look. Whose death is it going to show us? <gasps> Holy fuck, what was that? That didn't look like anything we've seen thus far. Oh, she, she is. She... Oh, mm, my God. If Mike doesn't kill her before the end, I'd be surprised. Come on then. Flip. Boom. 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 Yay. Why is it giving me the option of looking around? That's a little. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad guy. I don't know. I've just got this feeling that that's not what we think it is. I don't know if he was trying to harm the girls earlier, if he, if he was trying to protect them. You know? Yeah, we've seen that. So we don't need to do that again. I don't know. It's all very strange at the moment. But yeah, it's like misogynist stereotypes are us around here at the moment. But then again, that is what 90, a lot of 1990s mainstream horror was like, unfortunately, for better or worse, you know? Sam. Mostly for worse. Gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you know what, Mike? No one would ever know. If you just dumped her over the edge into the river, no one would ever know. And no one would blame you either. You don't look psyched yet. I'm not. I'm so psyched right now. It's like a little adventure. And I'm not a fan of you either, Mike. Let, let's just be fair, you know? Is there stuff maybe that you can see that I'm missing? I wonder. I am wondering. Is that Macy Gray? It is Macy Gray, isn't it? Police tape. Yeah. Man on Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Mm. No, they never close the investigation. Uh. Getting the creeps now. Yeah. It's Let's see what she remembers. I barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault. They ran kind of is, Spike. It kind of yeah. is. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Kind of is your fault, mate. Kind of is your fault. Very much your fault. I like the sound of the snow crunching under their feet. That's really cool. In fact, visual. Whoa! What the bleeding, buggering hell? Did you hear that? Yes. I heard something. Yeah. Very much so. I did hear that. Yes. Like in terms of its presentation, the game is gorgeous. It is absolutely amazing. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no. no. Like going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. 
No. Jess! Yes. Fuck. Hey, Jessica. Have you broken anything? Oh. Okay. God damn it. Huh. That was funny, yeah. alright. I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Ooh. Heroic. Let's go for it. Come on, Mike. Right, after you. Oh, that's changed one. something. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was that was a little that was quite good actually. The jump scares are good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of people really hate jump scares. I th quite like them as well as long as they're earned, you know? As long as they're well timed. I mean, a good jump scare can be as good as anything else, right? If that's the type of horror that it's going for. Come on. Hey, there we go. She's stronger than she looks, isn't she? I imagine us grunting together. Not what I pictured. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who is Gas Mask Guy? One wonders. Uh, yeah, this is really smirt of you. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow. Oh crap, oh, well I fucked gosh, that. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But where did it come from? <laughs> oh god, you totally ain't shit. Thank you. <laughs> Took out my teeth. That's a plus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's a way down here, and there's a way up willies. there. Not the good kind of willies. Oh, the music's going. Oh, the music's going. Oh, that's not good. The music's going. Oh, no. Not again. What's this going to show us? What the? Oh, now that was unexpected. Yeah, I saw that. Fuck. What was that? I tell you what, my loves, on that question, I'm going to leave it there, and we'll leave Mike and Emily here in the mine. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.